Hi guys, my name is Eno. In today's video, we'll be looking at how to download and enable free VPN on an Ubuntu machine. Now, one of the reasons why you might want to use VPN is if you're looking to hide your public IP address. That's normally used if we're looking to access specific sites or services on the internet and we want to mask our IP or the location where we are located. Now, when it comes to IPs, we have two, two kinds. We have a public IP for communicating on the internet and then we have a private IP for communicating locally on your local area network. We can find our private IP by doing running the command IP address and it's this one right here 172.16.1.100 and as far as the public IP address is concerned that's normally going to be found on your router and we can also find out what our public IP address is by going to a browser and then going to some specific websites. We'll do that once we have enabled our VPN to see what it's going to be showing. We'll open our browser here to download the free VPN. We'll Google free VPN book, open VPN. We want to go to the first site that takes us to vpnbook.com. So click on that link. Scroll a little down. Under where it says free open VPN. Click on the tab that says Open VPN. Then we should see a list of uh, certificate bundles. So you can download whichever ones, whichever one you want. And also take note of this username and password. We'll need this information to activate the free VPN once we have it downloaded. I'll go with this one here. US one server, open VPN config bundle. So click on it. It should start the download and it's a quick one. Looks like it's already completed. Now I'll open up, I'll go back to my terminal actually. And uh, so I'll CD to the downloads folder. Do LS. This is the file we just downloaded. It's a zip file or it's a compressed file. We have to unzip it. The command is unzip VPN book hyphen open VPN hyphen plus one tab completion ls and we got four different files. So we can use one of the four different files to enable the VPN. So I'll clear the screen again. The command to run the, uh, or to enable the VPN is going to be sudo open VPN. And here we have to put in one of the file names. So actually let's do ls first. So we can see the name, uh, we run sudo open VPN. I'll go with this one right here. Look, hyphen US1, hyphen TCP, uh, 443, VPN, enter, put in your password. Now we'll need this username from the website we'll go back to the website and uh, scroll down open vpn so it's a uh, username is vpn book and then the password is c944b4a so username let's minimize this vpn book password C nine C four B four A. Now it's gonna do the negotiation for the VPN tunnel. It says tunnel one is up here. The logs tunnel one opened, and you wanna see this message here: initialization sequence completed. 
Now we should have a tunnel interface and we can check that on our, we can open another terminal. So one um, thing you wanna remember is in order for it to be easier to close this VPN, to close the VPN once we're done with it, it's easier to just leave this open then we'll use control C to close the VPN rather than closing this window and then that's gonna make you use multiple commands to close it. So I'll leave this open, I'll open a new terminal. And we'll see here if you have a tunnel created. And tunnel one is right here with an IP of 10.9.0.82. So we verified that we created a, a VPN tunnel. We'll go ahead and um, open a browser to see what it's showing our public IP address to be. Go to a new tab here and search for what is our IP address. Now it might be slower to open because of the VPN. So sometimes the VPN can slow your connectivity. We'll go to the link. So it's saying our public IP is 192.7.62.204. And it's saying we are located in Switzerland, which is not actually our, our real location. So we are masking our location. Another site is IP Chicken. That should give us similar information in terms of what our, our public IP address is showing on the internet. Close this tab. We go to this link. And it's showing the same IP. It's also showing the name address which is pointing to the website we downloaded the, we downloaded the VPN from. So that's how you check your public IP. Now, one last thing is how do we actually close the VPN once we are done with it? So once we close it, this tunnel should disappear. And like I said, if you leave the window open, all you have to do is control C and it's saying closing tunnel interface process exiting. So that should close the tunnel. I will go back to the other terminal, up arrow, and the tunnel is no longer there, it's been removed. So that's it for this video. That's how we uh, download and enable a free VPN on Ubuntu machine. I hope this information has been useful. See you in my next video. Thanks, bye.